Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a autumn makeup look for you guys, slash a little Q&A. So I am just going to be doing my take on a, you know, cozy autumn vibes makeup look. I think this describes it pretty well. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Also going to be answering some Q&A questions at the same time. I put some out on Instagram, so going to be all different random questions, but I thought it would make it a little bit more fun while I'm doing my makeup. So make sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Do not forget to click the notification bell because I upload every single Saturday. And without further ado, let's get on with the video. Okay, so I've moved a bit of a closer frame because I thought it would help you see me doing my makeup a little bit easier. So I'm going to be starting off by priming my face. I'm going to be using the MAC Prep and Prime. So let's just spray some of this off. I like to make sure I get a good generous amount. So first of all I'm just going to sort of prep my eyes for the eyeshadow. So I'm going to brush through my eyebrows with this little brush that I have and then I'm going to put some concealer on my lids and then I'm just going to start with the eyeshadow. So I thought I'd start it off a bit fun and the first question is what is your favourite moment from the Ellen show? So if you guys don't know if you're like new to my channel, when I was younger I actually used to appear on the Ellen show quite frequently with my cousin Rosie. So my favourite moment would probably definitely have been when I met Nicki Minaj which was like the biggest like first show that we did because I was genuinely so surprised and I had no idea she was going to be there but there's also like so many other moments like we literally had so many amazing experiences on the show so there's literally a ton of things I could think of but that would always probably be the one that stands out to me the most out of literally anything. So lately filling up my brows, I've been using this Morphe palette. This is the Nature Glow 350. And I just use one of the deep browns from the bottom of the palette, one of these ones. I'm not really into like cream eyebrow products anymore. So I've been using that. And then I just use this little angled brush and I wet it with some prep and prime. And that's literally all I do for my eyebrows. So I've just finished my eyebrows and now I'm going to carve out the unders of my eyebrows. So I'm using the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. I'm just going to carve them out at the bottom like this. And then I sort of take it down because I'm going to put the eyeshadow on top of the concealer. I'm going to blend it in with this massive sponge that I have. This is a huge beauty blender it's just a real technique i think it's called a body blender so i guess you could use it for your body as well but i use it for my blending so i just feel like it's really really good so now i'm going to be doing my eyeshadow i'm going to be using the naked heat palette by urban decay i haven't really used this much it literally looks so new like it has lots of brand new colors and i just thought they were perfect for autumn there's some really deep like oranges and purples so I'm just gonna sort of like take all of them and sort of like play around with them so this next question is how long did it take you to drive so in total i would say it took me about nine months to learn how to drive it wouldn't have taken me as long if it wasn't for covid so i started doing driving lessons in around october 2020 because i passed my theory test first time in october and then i started doing my driving lessons soon after and then i had to stop because of covid and then i started again in april so that's like three or four months of missing them so yeah that's what happened first of all i failed my first driving test but luckily i passed a second time and it was literally just something i wanted to do so bad like i always had really wanted to be able to drive so it was a really big deal for me. In total, it took me like about nine months. So I've just finished the eyeshadow look and I'm actually very happy with it. If I come close, you can see it's sort of a smoky, like burgundy sort of color. And I put some gold on a sort of half cut crease and I just think it looks really all to me. So it's sort of the same vibe. It's actually exactly the same color as my top. So I am gonna put some eyelashes on. I have these eyelid ones. I'm gonna put them on quickly and then I'm gonna come back. Okay, now moving on to foundation, I'm going to be using this by She Glam. It is the Complexion Pro Long Lasting Breathable Matte Foundation. I always feel like autumn and winter looks should be a matte foundation. I don't know why, I just feel like it matches with it. So I'm going to use this. So the next question is how many piercings do you have? So I think in total I have, I have one, two, three, four. I have six piercings in total. Actually, my belly button, seven. Wait, 
six. I have six piercings in total. I'll tell you what all of them are. So the first things I got pierced was obviously just my ears. Um, I got that done when I was like literally seven. Um, just like the regular ear hole. And then the next thing I got pierced was my nose when I was 15. I also got it pierced four more times after that because it kept falling out. Don't have it in right now, but the hole is still there and I think it would still go in. And then I got my belly button pierced when I was also 15 <laughs> or 16 no yeah uh yeah i was 16 when i got my belly button pierced and i got my second ear piercings done last year but one of them kept getting infected and closing up so i had to take it out but i have this one in right now it's just my second one i don't actually have any earrings but i have my second ear piercing in and if i had to rank them from the least to worst pain the least pain would have been the regular ear pierces and the worst pain was my nose and honestly it is really bad it's definitely a 10 out of 10 but it only lasts for about three seconds so it's totally worth it so i do feel like i'm really really pal at the moment because it's winter so i'm going to use a cream contour i'm going to use the Too faced born this way concealer but i'm using in the shade mahogany so the next question is are you planning on moving out anytime soon so definitely not yet i am only 19 i am aware that some people at 19 do have their own houses and they do live alone um personally i don't feel ready to move out yet but i definitely hope that i would have moved out when i'm at least 20 or 21 sorry 21 i'm literally gonna be 20 in like i'm gonna be 20 in six months so i would say that's a bit soon but i would have definitely hoped to have moved out by the time i'm like 21 not because i feel like i don't like living here just because i feel like i would also like to have my own property so next question is what iphone do you have i have the iphone 13 just the 13 it's not the 13 pro um and i just have the small size um and i have it in white because i was going to get the pink one originally um but then i thought i would prefer white so i got the white one so the next question is your hair routine what is your hair routine currently i have ear extensions i have weft extensions but my natural hair is actually in very very good condition the only reason i have extensions is because i want more length so i naturally have long thick hair but i kind of went for a stage of like breaking it off so it got a bit damaged so i chopped a lot of it off so it's definitely very very healthy now it's in very good condition probably just a bit longer than like shoulder length so it's not too short but it's much shorter than my hair originally was so i will just keep having extensions until i'm happy with the length it is but my actual hair routine i wash it every four days and sometimes i'll use hair masks so yeah that is my hair care routine concealer i'm just going to be using my nars one again under my eyes and that's literally it because i want the rest of my face to look quite bronzed just like that on my eyeshadow so it gives it like a good like line so now i'm just going to be doing a little bit of bronzer i'm just going to be using the hula light and the brush i'm going to be using is the real techniques 037 brush it's just sort of like a I think it's like a type of buffing brush, um, but it works for me for the bronzer, so I've been using it. I'm also trying to take it down my neck because my neck is quite white in comparison to my face. So the next question is something that a lot of people don't know about you. I honestly can't think of anything really interesting. Um, all I can think of is, is that I probably have said it on my videos before on my Instagram, um, but I am really obsessed with cats. I actually love cats so much. I am definitely a crazy cat woman. I have my own cat. I've had cats in the past. I just think cats are the most like magical, mystical, amazing animal out there. Definitely a cat person over a dog person. Never really been a fan of dogs. I just think they're so beautiful. They're literally the best species ever. I also love like when other people have cats and I love like learning about like all the feline breeds. That is maybe something that you don't know about me is that I absolutely love cats. So yeah, now you know. So if you haven't already noticed, I always tend to go for the same highlighter in every single one of my videos, which is this one. It is the Anastasia Beverly Hills So Hollywood Loose Highlighter. It's literally my favorite. I just absolutely love the color. It is so stunning and it literally goes with any look. It's just this lovely golden color. I thought, no, I'm gonna change it up today and I'm gonna go with something else. So I found this palette that I have, which is the 
Morphe X Bretman Rock Bathe in Paradise palette and it is a highlighting palette. It's very, very dirty. I've had it for a long time. It's not dirty, it's just very messy. I can't even read them. I'm having to like scrub off the highlighter so I can read the names. My favorite color was Vagation, but I'm not gonna use that today because I wanna do a deeper color. I'm gonna use this one, it's called Mahu. Wow, that is a very pretty. It definitely complements this look and it's sort of a deep golden color. Wow, absolutely love that. Using that more often. Definitely found my new highlighter colour that I love. I'm gonna put a little bit on my nose. I'm gonna put it on the bridge of my nose to the chin. Some on my cupid's bow. Okay, now moving on to the last part, which is my lips. So I've pretty much had this same lip combo for a while now. It's definitely my favourite just for this time of the year and in general. It's like a deep sort of purple slash nude slash brown which i love so the lip liner is actually from beauty bay it's in the shade vintage this came in like a four pack um but this is the darkest one it's like a deep brown color line on my lips and this is the part i do so what i do is i just sort of blend it in into the middle part of my lip it doesn't look so harsh it sort of gives like a gradient ombre effect which is really pretty okay so now i have this lovely blended brown look which complements the eyes very well i'm going to be using my nyx butter gloss in the shade madeline and i just put it on over the lip liner so you can see it's got that sort of ombre look and I don't know about you, but I literally think that it is a really, really good lip look. I absolutely love it. Okay, so that is the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed watching this makeup look slash q and I absolutely love this autumn look. I think it definitely is just such autumn slash fall vibes. I literally love it so much. It's so cozy. Eyeshadow colour. It's nothing too like harsh, but it sort of gives a really nice smoky effect. And the gold on the lids, I absolutely love. Also, the lip combo is just my favourite. And I found this new highlighter, which I absolutely love so really really pleased about that make sure to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already also be sure to click the notification bell because I upload every single Saturday so yeah I really hope you enjoyed watching and I will see you in my next video bye